I apologize for the sunglasses today, but hay fever is playing havoc with my eyes and the last thing you want to see is me with puffy eyes. However, I'm hoping that this isn't going to impact on what I'm able to see today because as you've seen in the title of the video, I am going to be reviewing Garage Therapies 2 Sigma. So some of you guys have been asking when this video is coming out, here it is. For those of you who don't know anything about the Garage Therapy product range, they have products for cleaning your car and protecting your car. We'll go through it very quickly, they've got Zero Decon Shampoo, that one is designed to help remove old waxes and sealants, to cleanse the paint, especially if you have a ceramic coating on there for example, it will help to cleanse the pores of it, keep it going, can be used as a snow foam, very very strong, very flexible product. I love this stuff. Once you have protection on your car, they have two shampoos called One, one bodywork shampoo and one wheel shampoo, and these are designed to maintain what's been laid down on the car. So these are pH neutral, they will not negatively impact your waxes or sealants. They smell great, they're very concentrated or a high dilution ratio, so uh, you'll get a lot out of these bottles. Fantastic products. Then you've got their protection range. There are two in the protection range which are called two. So you've got two Quick Detailer and two Sigma which we'll be covering today. These are protection products. You can actually see it says it's the part of the protection range. Extra slickness, extra protection is what you'll get from that. It also has some shampoo in there which means it will help to cleanse anything that you've left behind. Maybe as the water is starting to dry it will help clean off water spots, any smudges or smears you may have missed during the wash process. Two Sigma, this is not a quick detailer, this is an in-between protection product. It goes in between the quick detailer and 3CS. This is the product I reviewed last week and this is their ceramic sealant. So this is your base layer of protection. This will give you five months, maybe a little bit more, but about five months worth of protection as a base layer of your car. This Sigma is designed to be a topper for 3CS. They don't say that it has to be used specifically for 3CS. What it says here is that it is wax, sealant and coating compatible. It works in synergy with existing protective base layers and their 3CS. So if you already have a wax or a sealant on your car or some sort of coating, this will work with them. It doesn't have to be their particular product. So it's great to give that a try. This can be used as a protective product in its own right. It will give you about six weeks worth of protection. They also mention that it has a, a strong focus on enhancing visual depth slickness and water repellency. That's very interesting. Uh, adding visual depth, to me it sounds like something that a wax would normally be attributed to. Many waxes, people will say, add uh, a warmth, a, a nice warm glow to your paint. If you have a colour on your paint, it will add extra gloss and it will bring the richness of that colour out. Reds, blues, greens, things like that. That's going to be very interesting to see how well that works today. I have tested this on my own black car and that was I'll be honest, it was very good. Today I'm going to be using Natalie's car because it has that lovely, rich, warm, orangey red colour that I really love. And I'm hoping that this will have some impact on the colour depth of that car. Like I said, it also mentions slickness and water repellency. So that's great. That means slickness, that's something that Garage Therapy have been talking about for a very long time. It's something they're very, very passionate about. They want slickness because it means that dirt will be less likely to want to stick to the paint. It means that it will have a certain self-cleaning ability if it's super slick. Also, it's just going to feel really nice if you're an enthusiast and you feel it afterwards. You feel that slickness. Uh, it makes you pull some really funny faces. Dave from the Detailing of the Beast channel did an absolute cracker of a couple of videos on both the 3CS and the 2 Sigma. And uh, I advise you go and watch those as well after my video. They were great and he really showed what they can do and uh, his reaction to uh, to these products was absolutely fantastic. Let's get cracking on the car. I'm gonna wash it down first. I'm gonna use practically all of Garage Therapy's products here to give it a good clean. The car isn't looking too bad. It hasn't been used much through lockdown, so it's, it's pretty good right now, but let's just make sure that it's as clean as we can get it. I'm not going to worry too much 
about removing old waxes and sealants that are on there. I'm not going to deliberately try and remove them because this is a topper for existing protection. So let's just try it out as it is. So after a pressure rinse, the car is coated with snow foam. In this situation, it's Gadge Therapy's Zero Decon Shampoo. And that's been left to dwell for five minutes to attack any dirt and some of the old waxes and sealants, though there are still plenty on there. I'm not trying to remove them at the moment. Then using the one maintenance shampoo here with a two bucket method, which I was recently told in a comment is a waste of time. I'd love to know what you guys think of that. And I love this shampoo, very slick and it smells great. Okay, that's the boring bit done. Now it's time for the exciting bit, which is to apply this product. What I've got here is a couple of brand new, these are uh, rag company utility towels donated to me by uh, Andy at Miles Drive. Thank you very much, Andy. So I'm going to apply this in a 50-50 situation. It's going to go all across one side of the car. So there is already existing protection of different types on here. Uh, I can't remember what they are. <laughs> I think I remember what, what's on this side of the bonnet. Uh, <clears throat> but what I'm gonna do is just apply this all the way over one side of the car. The car has different protections, but the roof has nothing. So it'll be interesting to see how that looks. And uh, let's get on to the application. So what it mentions here, shake well, very good. And uh, using a clean premium microfiber cloth, Right here, prime the face of the towel with two to three sprays. That reminds me of their 3CS product, it's the same situation. Prime your applicator, then spray directly on the paint one to two full sprays, spread lightly onto the paint. At this stage, don't buff off. Now, the sun is just trying to poke through the clouds, but the panel is still cool, so we should be okay. It's warming up though, I'm gonna have to move on quickly here. Allow it to cure for 30 to 60 seconds, just like 3CS. Then flip to the unprimed side and uh, lightly buff it off to reveal an incredibly deep high gloss finish. They do say for best results, use two separate towels, one for the application and the other for buffing. So that's exactly what I'm going to do here. So I'll just open this up and get a good squirt. There we go, right. So prime with two to three sprays. One, two, three sprays. And then across the panel here, two sprays. We're gonna go like that. Oh, it smells, oh, it smells really nice. I can't quite place that scent. It smells like a sweet shop, like swizzles. You know those things? So, just gently wipe it across half of the panel there. And I'm just gonna leave it to cure for 30 to 60 seconds. I'm gonna be very mindful about the temperature though, because that sun is really trying to poke through. It is a mostly cloudy day. So I don't want it to cure too quickly. Uh, that, that could lead to streaking possibly. Realistically, you want to pull this into the shade where possible. And like I say, there's no shadow here because there's really no sun. There's like barely a shadow there. So there's no direct sun on the panel. So I'm gonna say that's about enough of a cure time. Now, clean, brand new microfiber and buff. You can feel the slickness straight away where there was nothing before. Again, this might be a warm panel. I'm getting a few bits that don't quite want to buff away straight away, but just give them a few more swipes and it's gone. That slickness is definitely there. And that's it. I mean, that is very slick. That's lovely to feel that. That's what had nothing. <laughs> I, can, I can just tell there's a difference there. I wonder if I can do my old trick here. I did this before, a bit I missed. I did this before on the 2QD video where there was slickness added. So this is the other side I haven't buffed with and it doesn't really want to spin there. And that, that really does. Over here, it's struggling to spin. 
and over here it's much easier to spin so you can see that there is a, a difference in the slickness there now obviously if it doesn't want to uh, allow the towel to stick to the paint then that also means that dirt and other stuff aren't going to want to stick quite so much either so there's your, your visible difference with your slickness I'm gonna carry on now and do the rest of the car So I got into the swing of things, a single spray on the wing because it's a smaller panel. I've still got some on that microfiber from working on the bonnet. And it's a very quick and easy product to apply, it spreads really well. And once it's applied, I'll move on to the door. I'm not just going to wait for that panel to cure, I'll move on to the next one. And that's the nice thing about this. I can actually cover the wing and the two side doors within a minute before having to go back to the wing to start buffing everything off. This is a real joy. If I was waxing these panels, I'd still only be about halfway down the wing. But here I'm onto the back door now, spreading the product around to allow it that 30 seconds to 60 seconds of cure time. You could time this if you want, but by the time I get back to putting a dry towel onto the wing, that's exactly one minute. And the buff off is just so straightforward and simple. On these cool panels, it's fantastic. You can feel the slickness it's so apparent, it's so immediate. It really is a joy to buff. Much quicker and easier than a paste wax and sometimes even a spray wax. You can see there that I covered space. I covered that area very quickly and it's got such a lovely shine to it there's a great gloss there and the color is nice and rich and i just did that so quickly you can really see the color and the reflection there i did that so fast it's such an easy quick product to use it's really enjoyable and it smells absolutely fantastic as well i was saying it smells like swizzles i think it's meant to smell like watermelon Honestly, I can't get the watermelon, but whatever it is, again, it smells delicious. Which is the case with most Garage Therapy products. They have great smells to them. There are only about two, if I remember correctly, that don't have any scent at all. But just covering the area is so quick and easy. The roof does need decontaminating, I think. I, I do tend to neglect it a little bit. So there wasn't a huge difference there, but there was still the slickness change. But on the rest of the paint that has been well looked after, it was looking fantastic. Now it's going to be very hard, if not impossible, to see this, but I can see just, I can see the line where I applied the Sigma versus whatever was left over here. It's, it's barely visible, but this is just ever so slightly richer and you I think you're just gonna have to take my word for it that there is ever so slightly more richness to the color more depth to the color there than than on the other side over here this just looks fabulous that shine and gloss is brilliant really nice really lovely and shiny it is deep I even took my sunglasses off just to uh, make sure that I was getting the full effect here now on the roof it's not quite as noticeable uh, up close here obviously a higher angle looking across at the two not so much there but I think the roof could do with some decontamination perhaps or some polishing but um, over this side it just to me it's clean and it's dry but comparing the two side by side although you can't really do that that's that side try and remember that and then we come around here and that 
just seems darker and richer. And I think this person went some directions. Okay, yeah, so she went directions. Never mind. So there you go. Have a look at this. Let's just look at this again. There's the richness. There's the color. The depth of color there. Take it around here. Does that look as dark and rich to you? I'm going to have to let you make up your mind from what you see on the camera here. But to me, it doesn't look like there's as much gloss there for a start. It just looks a little bit less glossy. And the other side just looks a little bit more glossy. I really hope you guys can see that. Let me know in the comments if you think you can see it. I know it's not easy on camera what looks good on the eye you know or by eye doesn't quite look as good on camera often but I'm very happy with that now for those of you who like water behavior tests like I said this car already has some protection on it I think over on this side it has the remnants of the Simon eyes wax and over here obviously whatever was there before plus the Sigma and let's just have a look at the water protection. I'm, I'm not sure how long you should leave this. It doesn't mention leaving it to cure and dry and not get it wet. So let's just go with it. Let's spray this in the middle. They are practically the same there. Let's have a look over here. I say there's a wax that was on there. It's sheeting quite nicely. And over here, it's sheeting quite nicely. <laughs> I can't really see any difference there. Let's have a look at this. The old drying with water. It comes off in a lovely flat sheet there. You can see it's leaving behind very little. And so is this wax. So let's try and flood it on both sides. Yeah, it's difficult to tell the difference here. It seems to want to get rid of that water just a little faster than the waxed side here. There you go, yes, it does sheet there. Let's have a look at the beads too. Everyone likes nice beading. Let's throw down a bunch of beads all over the panel. Let's have a look at them. Let's get right in there. Nice beading. For those of you who like nice beading, it's there. And you can also see the water rolling off. It's looking nice. So a nice beading and sheeting going on there. That's the wax that was there before. Nice beading and sheeting too. So, very nice there. Let's have a look on a, a vertical panel. It comes off nicely. Still beads nicely. Let's get it sheeting with the aerator here. leaves very little behind. In fact, it's probably just the splashing that's causing what's left. That's practically dry. It wasn't until I hit down here. Let's do that again. <laughs> that's practically a dry panel. So, drying with water. Perfectly possible there. Nice water behavior on that. Really nice. So it's time for the verdict. What did I think of Two Sigma? Let me put it this way. I am now questioning my newfound or re-found, whatever, uh, enjoyment of proper waxes. I didn't like waxes to begin with. I found them slow and annoying to use. Now I'm starting to get the therapeutic nature of them. And one of the things I really like about waxes is they help to bring out the depth of colour of paints. And this is the first sprayable product I've used, which is not a wax that I genuinely do think is making me question if I'll ever need a wax again. That's how good this stuff is. This is, like I say, it's not a wax. It's a spray sealant uh, which contains silica. It contains a ceramic component in it. And I've never used a ceramic product that can actually do that, can bring out the depth of color. I've seen them add sharpness to the paint and the reflection is certainly increased but never the color. This gives great gloss and color depth. And I know it might not be so easy to see on camera, but I can see a difference between the two sides of the car. 
looking at one and seeing that extra gloss and that extra glow from the paint that color just looks like it's it's coming out at me more than the other side i just i genuinely i'm absolutely I'm, I'm flummoxed by it at how good it is it smells fabulous which is also a great help because i said this years ago i used to say this in all my videos a product which is a pleasure to use is a product you're going to want to use again so it really is fantastic the application is not difficult at all you could see i was able to get around that car very quickly indeed i did have a little bit of issue buffing it off the bonnet but the bonnet was warming up because the sun was starting to break through but on the sides it was a breeze and and it wasn't difficult to remove on the bonnet it just needed a little bit more buffing as all but on the sides of the panel i was actually able to spray and wipe on the wing then spray and wipe on the door then come back to the wing buff that off come back to the door buff that off I was able to cover the car really quickly indeed and the buff off was fantastic the slickness was there too you saw that with the spinning microfiber really fantastic product i genuinely cannot fault this at the moment and you can also see how much i've used that's it there and that's been applied to two cars so far and genuinely i think you can get quite a lot of applications out of this obviously depending on the size of your car cost wise it starts at £14.50 for a 500ml bottle with a spray trigger. You can also buy it in a 1 litre refill and a 5 litre bottle. Obviously, uh, that's going to be more for people who want to get the use out of it more, perhaps professionals or real enthusiasts. But I think I'm going to buy the 5 litre bottle of this. I think I'm going to go through it quite quickly because I genuinely enjoy using this product. It's fantastic. It's also great that you can use it within the system of their products. So you can lay down 3CS as your base coat and then use this as your topper. You'll get five months of protection from this. You'll get six weeks of protection from this. So this will help to refresh the look. It will help to add that gloss and shine and refresh the water repellency behavior, add the slickness there. And then after every wash, you can use their two quick detailer as a drying aid. This will add a little bit of extra protection and it will help to clean up the car, make it look nice. So they all work together really nicely. And uh, I think if you've got a car that you really care about, this is an excellent system for you to keep your car looking nice for longer. Genuinely fantastic products. If you want to check them out, there will be a link down in the description below so you can go and have a look at this and all of their other products. But in the meantime, if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and smash that like button. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And while you're there, make sure you ring the notification bell so you don't miss my next video uploads. But I've been Specky. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.